Hi, I'm Anita, and today we're back in Twisted Wonderland. So, here's your guide to Playful Land's Miraculous Marinettes. I hope I'm saying that right. So, first things first, let's get started. So, first of all, all right, my purse, <laughs> my purse, <laughs> my first piece of advice for you is if you know you have your heart set on one or both of the characters in the mirror, pull for them right away. Here's why. If there's battles that come with this event, usually, don't quote me on this because every event is different, but usually you, if you have one or both characters in your party for the battles for the event, you get like a boost or extra rewards or something like that. It looks like there, I'm not sure if there'll be battles for this event or not. Obviously we haven't got all of the story yet and I'll go over that in a minute. It looks like though for sure there are things going on in the guest room so I will go over that in a minute but also too for me personally I think it's just best to pull for them right away so that you don't forget to pull for the character before they're gone because the event banners don't come around that often. So the cards featured for this, so these cards, so it's Ace and Leona in playful attire, is that what they're calling it? Let's see. Yeah, playful attire. So, so it looks like that it will be here. So it started October 21st and it will end October 29th. But it looks like it might come back November, November 19th through November 25th, I think. So personally, if I were you, I would just pull for them. <laughs> All right, on to the next thing, my next piece of advice. So we have right now so all right so this goes until so it started october 21st and it goes to goes to november 28th how how am i gonna live that long <laughs> till the, we get the story well we probably we'll probably get the story sooner than that and i'll try and cover as much on the event that i can so stay tuned for that so we have part one and in each so each and so in each book we get a character so oh and then it looks like we'll get wow five rounds okay that'll be awesome so five rounds this time of stamp missions too uh where does it go over okay, okay here's characters so here's our so here are the characters we're getting in this event so we will get sr floyd playful attire R Trey playful attire, R Jack playful attire, R Jade playful attire, and that actually released in book one, and I'll go over that in a minute. R Lydia playful attire, and so these characters here are only in the story. So if you want these characters, you have to do the requirements. You have to do the story to get them, if that makes sense. So you can't go to the mirror. You won't be getting these in the mirror. You only get them in the story. Hopefully that's clear. So my other piece of advice for you is don't forget the stamp missions. They're right here, down here in this corner where I'm tapping. But also, I feel like they just made this change and I love it. I hope they keep it. So there also too, so there are specifically the stamp rounds, I guess you would call them I don't know what else to call them so here you will want to make sure don't forget these because especially some of these things are for limited time furniture in the guest room and I'll go over that in a minute also you get gems which <laughs> I'm already wanting those oh and eight, always I've always stock I always suggest stocking up on these on events trust me events eat these alive so you want them you, trust me, and then keys. You always need keys, trust me. <laughs> I already ran out of keys. <laughs> well, this key here, but I ran out of those. So, if I were you, I would, I, I would, I would make sure to complete the stamp rounds as soon as possible. Don't forget about them. So, 
It's right here. Let's see. So it's right here. I'm trying to tap, like show you without tapping on it. Uh, it's on the side of your screen. I'm tapping above it. So it's that's where you can find the stamp missions and it's so much easier. They used to not have that and I love that they have that. Two, don't forget this. So we're gonna have more of these. I'm tapping on it right now. It's purple and I'm tapping on it. So don't forget to do these, complete these. They will come in handy. All right, so let's go over to the guest room right now since we were talking about. So there are certain materials you have to get to craft Ooh. the furniture. All right, so let's go over furniture. Limited time furniture. So during this event, you can earn materials for limited time furniture. And I think it said... That's right, Grim. <laughs> Make everyone jealous. So here's the list here for the limited time materials to make the limited time furniture for this event. There's playful lumber, there's playful stones, there's playful crystals, there's playful metal, there's playful clay, there's playful cloth, and playful magic paint. So if you have your heart set on the limited time furniture, you gotta grind these out, trust me. All right, let's go find out what the limited time furniture is. So there's been some confusion in the past on how to find this, so I'll show you, especially if you're new here. So redecorate where I'm tapping at the bottom of the screen. Oops, you can rewind that if you need to. Then go into crafting and then make sure, click on filter right here where I just tapped. And I think if you go here, it might just show you what... If you click on that, hopefully, <laughs> uh, it worked for me. It will take you, or it will shift through and give you all of the new limited time... It will give you all the new limited time furniture. So we have here, we have Ace's Playful Attire. We have... I'm not sure how to say this. <laughs> I should learn. Calumet, Calman, Calman. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure his last name is Alazam, so we'll go with Alazam's outfit. Orthos playful gear. Playful attire cater. Oops, we were just there. Uh, playful attire Leona, and playful attire Vil. So it looks like that's. So far in this section, that's all that's been released. Let's keep looking here. All right, so far it looks like it's just the outfits that have been released. I will cover if they release more, and I'm betting they will. It looks like we're gonna get lots of new limited time furniture, which I'm so excited about. I was so dang excited that we were getting limited time, furni limited time furniture for this event. <laughs> I squealed when I saw that. And I squealed like, look at this map for the battle area here. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's just awesome. Okay, enough of me fangirling. <laughs> Onward. Okay, let's go over why you're really here. You're wondering how to get the characters and this, so in part, so in book one, we get Jade. So I pretty much all that I found that I had to do is I just had to clear the story. Um, oh, I keep forgetting they... So right here it's gone because I completed the story. Um, right here there's a lesson count so you have to do so many lessons and I'm pretty sure you can pick through... Yeah, so you can take normal, oops. So you can take normal, daily, exclusive, special to unlock the story, but you have to do like, a, oh, it's so, it look right here. You might have to zoom in, but right here, this is, well, this right here will tell you how many lessons you've done. It's like a hundred lessons. So you wanna get started, especially if Jade is one of your favorite characters. You have to do a hundred lessons to get to, and then you have to read, and then you have to clear the whole story to get Jade. So 
You might want to get started on that. <laughs> so, all we have so far is Jade for the story, obviously. Ooh, and you're in luck. So, we don't have to do any special like currency or anything like that. You can just use you can just use regular old items that you get from the game to level up. I almost called him Floyd. <laughs> it's Jade. <laughs> Jade. To level up Jade. So I'm guessing that was probably how they're going to do all the characters. I feel like they usually do that for Halloween. Maybe not. No, maybe the masquerade you didn't. Anyway, for this event you do. So that is really nice. And to see where... See these pink arrows? That's a sign that you don't need as many blooming honey to upgrade jade so that will be really nice but here's the most important thing you need to know for jade and we'll go over it now so i'm showing you this way you can just click here and go to the shop down here but i find it easier to tap here you can rewind that if you need to or go slow motion go so here so this right here this is a groovifying item you cannot groovify any of the characters that are released in the story you don't have to worry about that in the any of the characters in the mirror but the characters in the story hey, need this item to groovify if you don't have this item and you try to groovify them after this event is over you cannot you have to have this item or this item here to groovify Oops. Me again, Sam. Sorry. to groovify your character so if I were you I splurged and got this <laughs> because I wanted to be festive for the for the channel but normally what I do and I suggest you do this too I buy this first because like I said you cannot groovify the character without this item. So if you don't buy this item and you try to groovify them and the event is over, hey, you cannot groovify them. So get this first. I know <laughs> the other the stuff is really fun and cool, but get this first if you have your heart set on groovifying any of the characters that are coming in the story. Two, uh, I always suggest and say get this item here. <laughs> It is almost as hard, if not harder, to get than the tenfold keys. So get this item here. Trust me, you will thank me later. <laughs> I always wish I knew what Jade was up to, but I'm wasting my time <laughs> wishing for that. So stay tuned. I am planning on trying to cover as much on this event that I can. I will probably do a video for each part that's released so each book that's released so stay tuned for that so if you love disney's twisted wonderland as much as i love disney's twisted wonderland this is the channel for you i try to cover as much news and tutorials and guides as i can and i have other content of twisted wonderland on my channel so go check that out if you love disney's dream like valley as much as i love disney's dream like valley go check it out i have a series right now for switch friendly speed build so go check that out if you love luigi's mansion 3 as much as i love luigi's mansion 3 I'm doing a playthrough right now of it, so stay tuned for that. I also play other games on my channel, so there's a bunch of new games that I have my eye on that I'm hoping to do some content on, so stick around for that. And if you love this, you'll love the next one on screen. See you over there.